do another update. So I tried to do this live up here on top of the mountain, but uh, not enough cell signal. So gave it a try, but I'm going to do this one just as video. We'll upload it later. All right, so a couple of updates on the van. Uh, so far, everything's good up front. The grill's doing fine. Uh, new belt up front and distributor cap and wires. Then we get to the trim on the windshield. That had been coming up on me, kind of bend in here, and I'd have to keep pulling it back into the window to go down the highway. You can see I put a bunch of duct tape on it. Nothing was working. So the other day I uh, squirted some of that gasket creator, a little tube of it, squirted some of that in there, and that's been holding just fine. So now I'll clean off some of that, uh, well, all of the duct tape residue. Um, let's see, we got these deflector things which aren't that great they come down to or the door ends but the problem is if you roll the window down anything more than just a crack water will literally just come through here and splash right in the face so it doesn't really work as well as they could well, whenever these fail I'll try to get a different design coming around to the side here Let's say hello to the dog who is tied up because if he isn't right now he'd be running all around the hillside so uh, he's tethered, but otherwise real comfortable up here. Uh, not much different. Got the shelving unit in. Wow, that's actually really cold with that air. Uh, we got the shelve unit in from the old man. Blankets, dog stuff, uh, tools, clothes, and that's it. And a chair. That's my ammo can that I sit on. I have it knocked over because otherwise it'll fall over. I had it here and moved some stuff around. Uh, I've got the electrics, nothing new there. Tested out the laptop last night at the uh, Walmart parking lot. I was doing just fine. I'll turn that fan off. I don't really need it right now. Um, everything else, though, working fine there. I'll go around back. Just a couple of new things in back here. Figured out to keep this door ajar since there's, I don't know if there's anything to do it on the van itself. I just jammed my cone in here. And my cone sort of sits down on those jacks and bungees in. I'm waiting to find the tool or something that'll work to jam into this hole which will bring this little chain thing down to let the spare tire live underneath the bed where it's at right now. That'll give us more room back here. And then I got the new addition of this cooler, Big Blue. I wanted one with an actual hinge instead of the little bendy plastic thing that eventually will break and uh, works pretty good. It's really deep, square, and it seems to work in my emergency kit here, right behind the shelves. So, it looks like uh, it was made for this. I'll probably eventually bungee that down if I'm doing any kind of bumpy roads or anything. Otherwise, that's about the whole thing. Figured out how to take these things off finally. They are as simple as you can imagine. You just pick them off, and I can swap this out. Uh, that trim up front, and that's really about it. Got a couple of like missing screws, but nothing too bad back here. And then we'll be addressing paint issues along the way. And now we have uh, O2 sensor code coming up on the uh, check engine lights. So we're looking at O2 sensors, um, 20 to $25 each. Probably need four of them. So $100 repair there. And that's about it. So, uh, waiting on word back from the art on the cards, and then we'll be heading over to Dallas. But everything looks like it's going pretty good, uh, sooner than anticipated, at least uh, ahead of schedule. And we'll keep everybody updated. So there's another four minutes or so with the band. As always, thanks for watching.